count of three, I'd ask that you break ground for the Science and Learning Center. If everyone would join me, one, two, three. Being able to study and work in this new facility will give future St. Mary's students an even greater advantage in preparing them for their future careers. The field of science doesn't simply need someone who can recite facts from a textbook, but can rather independently apply that knowledge to the everyday problems, both big and small, that we all face. I know that I am not alone in having confidence that this new facility will not only assist in better preparing students to meet the demands of today's science careers, but will also continue to elevate the already fantastic academic reputation here at St. Mary's University. Well, there already is a positive energy with regards to the vision for sciences here, and that's palpable. Uh, and you can see that this new science and learning center is going to have a very important presence. Already, this building is inspiring a younger brother or a younger sister to arrive first because the vision of science is going somewhere. Our university has a great contribution to make to the betterment of the human family. I'm grateful to St. Mary's for feeling this dream and granting me the opportunity to work for the Kapara Cancer Research Institute over the summer. Being able to put my name on a lung cancer project drives me to achieve even greater heights and the tools that St. Mary's has given me will surely lead to such achievements. One of the things that drew me to St. Mary's was this administration's desire to meet the challenges and the needs of ever-changing, evolving science programs. St. Mary's is already doing this, though. One way they're doing this is by forging new partnerships uh, with the world-class health services sector right here in this area. Uh, and secondly, by taking full advantage of the vast and diverse natural resources in this environment uh, for experiential, meaningful learning opportunities. It's not the federal government or the state that help us do this. It's our former students, it's their families, it's our friends, it's our trustees, it's our benefactors, who not only make it possible, but inspire the rest of us to do our part. I want to be very clear how deeply grateful I am and we are to those of you in this gathering and elsewhere, who by your love and care of this university, your belief in us, who we are and what we are becoming, that you've made it possible and you inspire us